What's up YouTube, Dakota here from Speed940. Headed over to the parents' house today to meet up with my dad, because he works at a dealership nearby in town. And we're gonna go by there and see if we can strike a um, deal for Instagram. Literally last night at like 11 p.m., 12 p.m., midnight, 1 a.m., washed my car, like detailed it and everything. I'm about to get doo doo on. Look at this. Ah. Hold off for another 10 minutes before I get to my parents' house. Please. Every time I come over to my parents' house, this is how fast people go. 10 under. Speed limit's 55. Come on. Let's go. Oh, and here it comes. Here comes the rain. I don't know if you can see that, but then it's, it's starting to rain. I just got back from the, uh, the dealership. Everything went great. We talked about uh, setting up some marketing for the uh, Chevrolet dealership there. I'm going to be showcasing all of their Corvettes that they have for sale, which are drastically below MSRP. Uh, the dealership's Holiday Chevrolet. So, out of Whitesville, Texas. And yes, I did shave my face when I got back. And I'm super excited to get, to get the ball rolling with Holiday Chevrolet though. It's gonna, be, it's gonna be an awesome partnership. It's a great dealer. They have tons of cars right now. They, they're, they have about 21 Corvettes on the lot. From, uh, from regular C7s to the Grand Sports, Z06s. Come here, come here. This is my Golden Retriever Tex. This is Tex. Good boy. But, anyways, when I was pulling up back at the house, I had. I had a huge delivery waiting for me. Right when I pulled up, the UPS man was pulling up and I had to sign for it. So. We're gonna go outside, I'm gonna pull the Corvette out of the garage and I'm gonna show you guys what the surprise mod is. We'll unbox it a little bit to give you a sneak peek. I won't be able to put it on right now because you'll see. Here we go. Here it is. Vertini RF 1.1s, brushed silver. 20 by 11 in the back, 19 by nine and a half in the front. The guys at Vertini were super easy to work with. I cannot wait to show you these wheels. Let's just let's just break into it right now. Let's go. Do that Brian Tooley racing cam chop. Coming straight through the Corsa extremes to the stainless work headers. Holy crap. So after I get these Vertini wheels on, I plan on putting in some stock lowering bolts on it because it's gonna ride like a monster truck otherwise and then I'm gonna get some GM splash guards
this baby is open. First thing I noticed, these are super lightweight. By the way, they are rotary forged. Here's super quick too. Got them. Talked to Vertini about them Friday, and today is Thursday, so six days. Vertini is on top of it. already looks sick. Oh my gosh. I don't know if I want to take this cover off yet. Screw it. Okay, got the GoPro turned around. Get that knife out of the way. Ooh. Wow. Wow. Just look at that. I was going to do black, but I figured that's a little overplayed for the Corvette. So I wanted to do something a little bit different. I know I'm not absolutely not the first person to do this color, but I think it'll look good on the red. Wow. These look awesome. Huge shout out to Vertini. These just look awesome. I don't want to take the plastic off right now. But this is... Yeah, this is one of the rear wheels. This is a 20 by 11. This is about, so I've owned this base model C6 since June of 2016. And I have not found a single wheel that looks good on the base model, except for this one. There's like two guys on Instagram who have them. One's on a C7 base model and then one's on a white Z51 C6 base model. And I fell in love with them as soon as I saw them and I asked him what kind they were. He told me, he told me his offset. And now I have my very own set. He has black, but I wanted to get the brushed silver. So that's what I did. Anyways, these are pretty much the most concave wheel you can get for the base C6 narrow body, which is unfortunate that you can't go super concave, but these Vertinis are F1s definitely, definitely, definitely are gonna be awesome. Now that we've seen how badass these look, I need to go buy some tire shops and get some estimates because the tires I have on there right now are too small. These are actually, I think these are an inch wider in the front and the back, something like that. But the tires I have on there now won't fit. And three of the tires don't match one of my tires, so kind of have my tire set up southern engineered right now it's what I could afford at the moment if you guys have any good tire recommendations leave them leave them in the comments I'd love to hear about them I'm gonna go get some quotes right now and see what kind of pricing I can get because I need these babies on as quick as I can get them on they look so nice it 
little more concave than the video is showing. Kind of hard to tell, but. They're going to look epic. So, I'm going to go get some quotes and I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, showing my roommate Raja the wheels for the first time. All right, is he ready? Yeah, dude. Okay. Oh, fuck, dude. Damn. These are nice, bro. Oh, damn, bro. Oh, crap. Look at that. Look at that, dude. Oh, that's so sexy. Dude. Nice. Those are sweet. I'm so glad I didn't get black. Yeah. They passed. They passed. They passed. They passed. Damn. Damn. Those are nice. Can I cap? Yeah. Whew. Those are hot, man. Those are sick. They're way lighter those than are, the ones I have on. Yeah. Those are gonna look so good on your Corvette, dude. Twenty by eleven, nineteen by nine and a half in the back. So I was halfway there to go get some tire quotes, and my knucklehead roommate left his keys in his car on, and the battery died. So I turned around. I'm gonna jump his car real quick. She's alive. He sent it. All right, back on the way for more tire quotes. Finally made it back from checking all my tire quotes. I went to two, I went to, I went to three places. I think I'm finally gonna go with the Michelin Pilot Pilot Sport S4s. It's a new tire that they have going out. <clears throat> Supposedly pretty good. The ratings are pretty good on it. Um, cheapest I could find so far, install or like mounted <clears throat> and everything out the door with like the tire warranty certificates or whatever. It was fourteen sixty five. Um, I have a friend that actually works at one of them, so I'm hoping he can get me a better deal than that because that's a lot of money. But we'll see if I can get a good deal and see if I can get these Ricini RF ones mounted pretty dang quick. Here's one more look before I end this video. Oh, would you just look at them? Just look at it. Ooh, it's nice and shiny. Look at that. That's nice and shiny. You know, when I see a car like this, first thing I do is I say, would you look at this? You know what I mean? Yeah. Just look at it. Just look. Look at it. Just look at it. Just look at it. It's going to look way better than that right there. Look at that compared to this. I think you know who wins that comparison. Anyways guys, that concludes this video. That is the new mod. The Vertini RF 1.1s in brushed silver. Going on the vet as soon as possible. As soon as I get this tire situation worked out, I'm gonna get them mounted quick, and I'm gonna get them on the car, and then I'm gonna buy some lowering bolts, and then some GM splash guards. But hopefully in the next video, I will have these, well, I will be getting them mounted. If it's your first time watching my videos, guys, please subscribe to Speed940, that's me. Give this video a thumbs up. I'm gonna leave you with a very pretty shot. Peace out.